Hey everybody, welcome back. This is just a really quick video pre nam to show you guys the just announced EVH Striped Series Frankie guitar. And as you can see, it's basically a, a relic version of the EVH Striped Series with some, you know, important modifications to make it look a lot more like the original, right? So in addition to the relic, you can see it's got the uh, bridge humbucker slanted. You've got the uh, the neck pickup, which is really a dummy pickup, and the little empty cavity in between. Um, looks very, very cool. In fact, um, had this been available when I bought my EVH Striped Series guitar, I definitely would have gone this route instead. Um, now, I recently sold my EVH Striped Series guitar, and some of you guys who are followers might be like, dude, I've seen that in so many of your videos. Um, but I, I recently um, decided to sell it in prep for uh, all the new NAM announcements, knowing I would be getting some sort of new guitar. And it was admittedly the weakest link in the group and decided even though it was a cool guitar, uh, it was the one that made most sense to go. But anyway, um, you're going to be hearing a lot more about this guitar, uh, obviously in the days to come as people start reviewing it at NAM. I'm not going to NAM myself. Um, I've actually never been, although I've, I've had people ask me to seriously consider going. Uh, and I might do it next year, but, you know, I have a day job and it's uh, pretty demanding at this time of year. But here are some of the specs. Um, so it's a basswood body, just like the regular striped uh, series and a satin urethane finish. Again, same. Uh, once again, the Cortison maple neck. Compound radius 12 to 16 inches. Once again, 22 jumbo frets again. You've got the heel mount truss rod adjustment wheel once again. Um, the oiled neck once again. Maple fingerboard once again, although this one does look a little bit relic or aged looks very cool almost looks like a roasted maple neck you know what i'm saying you've once again got the direct mount evh wolfgang humbucker i love the hum the wolfgang humbucking pickup some of my probably my my favorite humbucker at the moment um and then you've got the evh floyd rose once again with the detuna device um you've got relic chrome hardware uh parchment stratocaster style skirt labeled tone of course the old evh joke uh control knob for the volume uh, so a lot of similar components to the regular Stripe series, but really what I think makes it stand out is the fact that it's been relic and uh, I usually don't like relic guitars, to be honest. Um, but in this case, I think it just, it makes it look really cool. Um, I do have to say, though, that um, after finding out that the neck pickup is a dummy pickup, just like Eddie's was, I get it, they want to make it similar, I think they should have just made it a regular pickup, you know, because, I mean, if you don't want to use it, don't use it. But I just like having that extra versatility. They could have made it just a little bit cooler, in my opinion, to make it actually functional, functionable. And again, if you don't want to use it, you don't use it. But whatever, I, I get it. I get it. Uh, and if you look really closely, um, even with the headstock, uh, it looks like, it almost looks a little bit, you know, there's no cigarette burns. That would have been kind of cool. But it does look a bit aged, right? Like, you know, there's, you know, it's a little bit darker in some areas, uh, etc. So they did a really cool job on the Relic. I really do think it looks cool. Um, now, in terms of the price, you can see here that the MSRP is uh, uh, 2344 or roughly 2345 right? Um, and so what is that going to translate to? I'm going to guess based on how normally these, uh, how it works with the actual street price. It's pr I'm guessing it's going to be around 1700 maybe, 17 17 to 1800 dollars so if you compare that to the regular Stripe series, which goes for about a thousand street price, um, that's about a seven to eight hundred dollar markup. If I'm correct, hopefully I'm right in that. Um, so you got to take that into consideration. Is it worth that, knowing that you're basically getting a you know a relic version of the original? Um, so you know to each their own in, in respect to that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick uh, preview. If you want to go check it out on the EVH site, um, just go to evhgear.com and you'll see it probably front and center. And of course, you'll be hearing about it from all the NAM att attendees in the days to come. And I'm really excited to hear more about the new releases because uh, again, I'm ready to buy something new. I can't wait. Maybe I'll come back to you guys and get your thoughts and opinion on what I should do next. Uh, but anyway. Take care, guys. Until next time, and rock on.